Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Activate your core, so ribs toward your spine and up, and shoulders back and down, and reach your crown toward the ceiling. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, and inhale your arms to shoulder. Stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down, and then exhale your hands behind you. Press them toward the floor and lift your heart. Feel that back bend start and just keep stretching your head away. And as you exhale, pivot at your hips, come on over. Hands up, head down. Move your chin around a little, get that neck released somewhat. And then bend your knees slightly, sitting bones toward the floor, start at the bottom of the spine, keep your chin in and wind all the way up into the back bend once more. Press your hands just gently down as you feel that chest expand and stretch your spine while it's back bending. And then inhale upright and release your arms. Take a moment feeling that circulation increase and we'll do it again. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back and pivot. And again, take a moment there, lifting your sitting bones, stretching the back of your legs, moving your arms, Noticing what's needing stretching today. And once more with the knees bent and the chin in, wind all the way up into again, lifting your heart into a back bend. Stretch your head back, keep the chin slightly down, not lifted. You want to keep that neck stretching. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling your spine and body, noticing what's warming up. Side stretches next, so let's keep one arm down and the other one out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away as you lean to the side, no twist, so don't lean forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, out through the fingers and head. And just feel those ribs stretch apart. Feel that spine move sideways. Inhale back up, release that arm, and of course we'll do the other one. Arm out, keep the shoulder down, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean to the side. And again, as you get into that position, maximize it with the foot pushing down that you're moving away from in the hand or reaching away. Make sure you're not leaning forward, but you're keeping that shoulder back so that twist doesn't occur yet. Stretch through the side, through the ribs, through the whole body. Inhale up, release your arm. Take a moment feeling those sides a little more activated, and then really stretch the spine apart because this time we are going to twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, bring your arms back by your ears, sink evenly into your feet, and then sitting bones down and base of the skull up, stretch the spine apart, and exhale, turn to the side and twist. Weight on both feet evenly as you exhale, come on over. And just deepen into that twist forward position as much as you'd like. Check that your weight is still on both feet, that your arms are still by your ears, and lift your sitting bones maybe a little. Stay in the twist, work your way back up. Keep your arms by your ears as you come up. As you get to the top, lift your heart, but remember, don't overwork your low back when you're twisted going into your back bend. So shoulders are down, elbows back, stretch your head away from your feet. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, arms again by your ears and shoulders down, open that spine with the twist, exhale to the other side. Another breath, exhale open. And as you deepen, just relax. 
Sitting bones up, arms by your ears. Feel the body. Notice the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And again, on an inhalation, work your way up into that upper body back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, elbows back, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhaling, come up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips toward the ceiling. And just take a moment and extended mountain sinking evenly into your feet. And then pivot forward. Push the sitting bones back, body parallel to the floor, shoulder blades toward your waist, fingertips out, stretch your spine. And then drop into ragdoll, just hand. Take a moment there. Pull in deeper if you like with your hands behind your leg. And then hands back to the center. Bend your knees, and again, just slowly work your way all the way back up into mountain pose. Feel that circulation increase through your body. And again, just notice what your body is telling you as your yoga perspective is that internal one. Take a moment there, stretch your crown high, and let's step wide. So just as wide as you like, and we'll just do a little stretch and twist again. So bring your thumbs to that crease at the top of your thigh. Keep your legs straight, toes to the front, and then pivot your body till you're parallel to the floor, and push your sitting bones and crown away from you. Stretch it out. Slide your hands down toward your ankles. You can keep them there. Or you can bring your hands right under your shoulders onto the mat, or bring a block or a book under your hands to raise the floor if you want to be in that position, but it's not quite achievable. So stretching your spine apart for our twist, we're keeping the right hand on the floor, bring the left hand out to the side, look at it, and then turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, looking toward the side even more. Follow that hand up toward the ceiling. Get those arms right across from each other. Keep the knees straight. Keep the spine stretched and twisting evenly. Take a moment to breathe. If you love a twist, you can bring your hand toward the left foot and bring the arm further back behind you. If your arm is on the leg, just keep it there. And if you've gone beyond straight up and down, come back and follow your hand to the side and back down to the floor, turning your whole body to face the floor. And of course, we're going to twist the opposite direction. So keep your left hand down, your right arm out to the side. Again, stretch that open spine apart and turn into your twist. Hips, ribs, and shoulder turning toward the side as you slightly look up. So don't overwork your neck. Just turn the whole spine. Stay there if you love that, or go further with the hand toward the opposite foot. And again, keep those arms as much straight across from each other as you can, so your twist gets enhanced if you love it. And then coming straight up and down. Again, follow that hand to the side, and back down to the floor. Stretch your spine, bring your hands to your shins, and straighten that spine once more. Straighten the knees. Exhale and stretch, and inhale, coming back and into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feeling all that energy through your spine, and circulation. Take a moment to breathe. Bring your hands to your heart. Spread your toes out. Look at your hands, inhaling them toward the ceiling. Bring the thumbs back. Another back bend, just as deeply as you like. Exhale, bring your hands down to the chest. Pivot at your hips. Drop into random. Bring your hands up under your knees on your shins in our halfway up stretch. So straighten the elbows, knees, and spine. Stretch it out. 
And then exhale, you drop again, tuck your chin, hands together. Inhale, hands to your heart, go all the way up toward the ceiling, and back into the back bend. Exhale, and release into mountain pose. And let's step wide again. We're going to do a triangle this time. So when we go to the triangle, remember the inseam length from your inner thigh to your ankle bone can be the distance between your feet, your ankles, otherwise a little closer. <clears throat> We're going to keep the hips and the shoulders facing the direction they're facing as you start. Arms come up to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down, the crown and sitting bones stretching apart, the fingertips reaching out. Evenly distribute your weight on both feet and keep it that way. And then turn one foot, but not your hips, not your shoulders, all the way to the side. Bring the heel back and toes forward on that other leg. Keep both knees straight for the triangle. Spread your toes out, stretch your fingers away. And then keep that hip joint again as you focus and push to the side. The further you go, the more your hand will go toward the floor when we rotate. Turn the palms to the front. Keep the arms right across from each other. And bring one hand down and the other one up. So again, keep the arms straight across from each other. Reach your head to the side. Keep this top hip pulling back so those hips stay as nice and open as they want to be. And stretch the hands apart. Put the shoulder blades toward your waist. Take a moment and stretch everything open. And then lead with the hand in the air, coming back up. Keep the shoulders down, palms toward the floor, feet to the front. Get that star position energized. And let's go straight to the other side. So again, hips stay facing the front, so do the shoulders. Turn that first foot and then heel back and toes forward, but keep the hip back. Keep that joint as your focus as you push to the side. Everything's still facing that long side of your neck. Palms to the front. And again, just pivot. One hand coming down, the other one right above. Take a moment and breathe. This hand that goes down doesn't support you. It just gives you positioning. Take a moment there. Keep that top hip back, shoulder right over the other one, over your hand that's down. Head reaching to the side, spine stretching open as you're in that pivot. Take a breath or two, spread your toes. Inhale, lead with the hand in the air, coming up, palms to the floor, feet to the front. Get your star energized, shoulders down. Exhale those arms for a moment. So we're gonna do some triangle variations. So as we do, just, you can stick with that first version if that's the way you would prefer to be. Again, evenly sinking into your feet, hips open to the side, shoulders open, arms at shoulder level. Energize from the heart out through the fingertips, up through the crown, down into your feet, that energized stop. Take a moment and breathe. Get rid of the fruit fly. <laughs> and turn your foot to the side. Heel back, toes forward. Both hips still facing the front. Hip joint. Push from there and get into your pivot. Palms to the front. Coming all the way down. And this time you can stay there. Or we're going to open the heart a little bit more. Bend your elbow and bring it down toward the bottom hip. So feel that chest opening a little bit more. And if you want even more rotation, stretch your spine apart and turn, looking up with the hips, ribs, and shoulder, turning slightly toward the ceiling. Take a breath, sink evenly into both feet. Remember, no pressure in that front hand. Exhale, any tension, keep stretching it open. And then releasing that hand back up, turning to the front. Use the hand in the air again to pivot up, keeping your shoulders down, palms to the floor, turning into your star position. Take a breath, shoulders relaxing. And of course, we'll do the other side. Turn your foot, 
Heel back, toes forward. Pull that back hip back. Don't turn it to the front. Spread your toes. Stretch your fingers. Again, hip joint as your focus. Push into the side. Push, push, push. And palms to the front. Pivoting into your triangle. Push to the side. Keep this top hip going back. And those arms right across from each other. No pressure in the hand that's down. If you like that twist, bend your elbow, bring it to the bottom hip. Palm can be either toward your hip or out, whichever works for your arm and shoulder. And again, rotate your body, looking slightly up, turning the whole spine into the twist, if that works for you in that position. Feel the chest open, the heart open in that position. Stretch your head to the side, keep the hip back. Don't forget to breathe. And then again, bring the arm back up and turn me to the front. Lead with the hand in the air, pivoting up, palms toward the floor, going into your energized stop. Release your arms, take a moment, just sinking into your feet. And we're going to do one more triangle version. This one's a little more complex. So remember, do the, opposite, the one we already did, if you prefer. This one's a rotated triangle, which means that we're going to be turning to the opposite direction once we get into our position. So it's a little bit more challenging, a little bit more complex. And if you don't want to go there, stick with the first version. Sink into your feet, keep the hips open, shoulders facing forward, and don't forget to breathe. Arms at shoulder level, stretch out, keep the shoulders down, and we're turning the feet exactly the same as we did before. <clears throat> Toes all the way to the side on that first leg. So remember, the whole leg is turning, the knees and toes are going in the same direction. Same thing on that back leg, your heel back, toes forward, but the knee goes the same direction as your toes. Push from your hip joint, <clears throat> push all the way to the side. Palms to the front. Pivot into your triangle. <clears throat> Again, top hip stays back, head goes to the side, arms reach away from each other, but shoulder blades toward your waist. If you're going into the full twist, rotated triangle. Spread your toes, pull that hip back, and bring your body around till you're parallel to the floor, arms out to the side. Look at that front foot, <clears throat> keep both knees straight, and then keep turning your whole body into the twist. So one arm comes down toward your leg and the other one straight above it, looking back toward what used to be behind you. Stretch it out. Keep the hip back. Keep those arms stretching away. And the hand again on the floor or toward the floor is not supporting you, whether it's on the leg or the floor. It's just position. Take a breath, stretch things out, feel your triangle sink evenly into both feet, and then pivot back parallel to the floor, arms straight out, and then continue that rotation back into your triangle. Stretch it out, shoulders relaxing toward your waist, weight in both feet, and again, use that hand in the air to pivot you back up into your star position. Feet to the front, arms out. Take a breath. Shoulders relaxing, head reaching toward the ceiling. Sink evenly into your feet. Make sure your arms are at shoulder level, palms down, and we'll do our final triangle to the other side. Turn your foot, not your body. Turn your heel back, toes forward on that other foot. Pull that back, hip back. Make sure everything is even into both feet. And again, hip joint for your focus, pushing to the side, going into your triangle. Palms to the front, pivoting down. Find your triangle, stick with that if that's where you want to stay. Or we'll do our twist, stretching the spine apart so you can rotate parallel to the floor. Look down at that front foot, make sure your knee and toes are the same direction. Stretch your head and hips away from each other. And continue that twist, rotating those arms across from each other as you look toward the back. 
Take a breath. Stretch it in. Knees straight, arms straight. Everything is rotated toward the back, hips, ribs, and shoulder in that twist into that rotated triangle as you want to go. Take a breath, relaxing into it. Again, no pressure in that hand that's down. And then again, parallel to the floor, rotating your whole body, shoulders, shoulder blades still toward your waist, sitting bones and crams still reaching away from each other, and then rotating back into your triangle. And again, stretch and straighten it out as much as you need to, taking a breath, observing how your body is. And leave with that hand in the air, pivoting back up, palms toward the floor, feet to the front. Sink evenly into your feet, energize out through your five points, and step into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe as you bring your hands to your heart. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Stretch the back of your neck, round toward the ceiling. Look at your hands coming into your back bend, bringing those hands up, and the chest high as you pull the thumbs as far back as your back wants to go. Exhaling over into ragdoll. Pivot over, lifting your sitting bones. Blend with your hands behind your legs for extra stretch if you want. And then arms back to the center, bend your knees and transition down to the floor for our child pose. Hands, palms up at your sides, and forehead down toward the floor, hips back toward your heels as much as they want to go. Take a breath, just relax. Stretch your spine. Inhale, sitting up, and coming into sat position. Press out through your heels, pull those toes back, knees up toward the ceiling. Get that sitting bones slightly behind you. That pivot right at, again, the top of your thigh. Stretch the crown toward the ceiling. Keep your core activated. Then we're going to bend one knee. Put the foot outside the opposite leg. Wrap your arms around, shoulders down, crown high. Stretch the spine apart. Then we're going to go into a twist. So keep your opposite arm around the knee and the arm of that leg straight out. Stretch up through your crown, hips, ribs, and shoulder turning as you follow that hand around toward what's behind you. Bring the hand to the floor close to your body. Pull the knee in close to you on the front. Stretch your spine apart. And as you exhale, hips, ribs, and shoulder turn deeper into the twist if you love a twist. Keep pushing out through the heel on that front leg, toes up, twisting as deeply as you'd like into that twist. And bring your arm up, shoulder level, follow it back around to the center, releasing your hands and your foot. Take a moment, feeling that twist energy through you as we get ready, of course, to balance and twist to the other side. So bend your knee, with the foot outside the opposite leg as much as you can. Wrap your both arms around and stretch your spine apart, shoulders down. Opposite arm stays around that knee and bring the other arm straight out. Shoulders relaxing down toward the floor, crown to the ceiling. And exhale, turning your whole body as you follow that hand into the twist. So remember, the hip you're moving away from can be up slightly so that your hips, ribs, and shoulder all turn into the twist. Hand close to you on the floor, stretch up from the sitting bones into the crown, spine nice and open, exhaling and deepening your twist. Pull the knee in, push the foot out in front of you, and just make your twist as much of a twist as you would like. Take a breath, deepen and release any tension. And again, bringing your hand back to shoulder level, follow it around to the center and release into staff position. Feel your spine a little more energized and we'll bring the feet to the end of the mat into staff position, activating your core and just gently rolling to the mat. 
As you get all the way down, we'll do one more gentle twist. So bring your hands out to G position, shoulders down, palms up or down. We'll just do our bent knee twist. Sitting bones towards your heels, back just gently down, bend your knees, heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. Press the back down gently, bring the feet up off the floor. If you want a little extra twist in the low back, cross your leg out over, otherwise leave them next to each other, and roll over to the opposite side. Turn your head to the opposite arm, and just deepen into your twist as much on this version as you'd like. Hands, palms up or down, whatever works for your shoulders. Just keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down for your middle back twist. Let the knees come across for that lower back twist as much as you need or want. And turn your head for a neck twist if that works for your body. Take a breath. Look for that arm behind you as much or little as you need. And allow your twist to happen as you exhale. Just deepening as much as your body wants. And of course, we've got to release, so we have time for our relaxation. So bring your heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. If you cross your legs, uncross them. Bring them to the floor and straighten out if you need to. And again, knees above your hips and cross the opposite leg, drawing it across toward the side as you turn your head the other direction. And again, bring those knees as far toward the floor as your lower back twist wants to go. Head turning for your neck area. And keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down for the rest of your spine to twist. Take a breath, hands, palms up or down. Either way is fine. Just keep those shoulders down. Take a few breaths there, just exhaling and relaxing into your twist. Always letting the twist happen, never forcing it. Those ligaments release better when you exhale, so just go ahead, emphasize the exhalations. And of course, when you're ready to release this side, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. And cross your legs if it was crossed, straighten it out as you slide the feet to the end of the mat. And bring your hands next to your hips, palms up. Take a moment to breathe, coming into corpse position, letting those shoulders relax, belly release, lots of spine work today, so let the whole torso go. And just allow your body to grow heavy and sink deep into that surface beneath you. Hands, palms up, letting those shoulders relax. Bring your toes together and then just let your legs release. And just soften, letting your neck Release with your head turning side to side, coming to a neutral position. Take a few breaths. Let everything relax and deepen into that earth support. Body growing heavy, just relaxing deeper with each breath. Let everything go. And as you release the body, just release thoughts of the body from your mind. And as you release those thoughts, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let those thoughts go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath without awareness. And as you breathe, letting those thoughts drift away, just allow your body to continue to relax and your mind just to deepen into that release and allow your awareness to turn inward, focusing only on the peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace.
And of course, if that relaxation feels so good, just keep relaxing as long as you have time. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, stretching whenever you feel like it, however you feel like it. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, draw your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, however it feels good for you today. Letting your body know you appreciate it. the yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to run this step, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up. And that's on me getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.